the English language was one of the foundational factors of professional communities in Romania. We learned to work in English, you know, after the year 2000 when all the multinationals uh, came in Romania. Uh, we converse in English, we use the English language in basically all of our communications, be they personal or professional. Um, on social media, we um, use terms that, you know, have never been translated into Romanian. So we're comfortable with the English culture in our lives. And I wanted to bring that value and create a space for us to have a different kind of conversation that you don't find and you won't find in the regular media space. So here at Coffee and Stories, we're going to meet people who obviously know English and hopefully they speak it really well. I'm not only going to invite Americans, although the three of us are also Americans, but we're going to invite people who will talk comfortably in English about things that are relevant in their lives and things we can extract and use as examples, as motivation in our own lives. So who you're going to find here, you're going to find um, expatriates, repatriates, you're going to find professionals from multinationals, um, and also the Romanian diaspora, who I invite to watch and also um, come as guests in my show. So good morning to you, Scott, and good morning to you, Denisa. Welcome to Coffee and Stories. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, this is going to be a casual conversation, and I know that in an interview, you always have to start with a comfortable question, okay? Don't make your guests uncomfortable. But I love the element <coughs> of surprise because when you don't ask something that's expected, people tend to give you an honest answer, okay? okay. So, Scott, what mm -hmm. does the A stand for in your name? Alan. Alan. I have an A as well, so I'm Andrea. Okay. And I also use it, you know, just the initial in right. my name. So I was curious. Well, I use Andrew. I use the initial because there are two Scott Reeses in the State Department. Okay. And they're spelled exactly the same way, but one is Scott A and one is Scott E. <laughs> okay. So I use it so that people know which one okay. they're trying to talk to. All right. Well, you, you passed the test. Thank so. you. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, that's great. Okay, so I, I'm going to ask, you know, the obvious question. And uh, we've met, we actually met in my office um, a few weeks ago, and People ask me why I came back after 10 years. Why on earth did you come back after 20? Well, yeah, that's the question, you know, I get every day and I think I'm going to get it all the time. Um, so um, there's really many reasons and it was just a confluence of events and reasons that determined me to come back. Um, of course, my family, I'm, I, you know, would be a mess if I didn't put them first. Um, but also, there's just so much opportunity now in Romania and so much to do. And I really felt like I could, like you said, contribute a little bit to um, the community here, you know. Um, I also attended um, a summit in October um, uh, that Repatriate put together. They're a, a foundation uh, to bring the diaspora back to Romania through various opportunities, entrepreneurship, but not only. And, you know, seeing all the people there from all over the world and seeing all the people here that are doing so much for Romania, it just was kind of an additional reason. And last but not least, I actually saw an article uh, about you, uh, Dana, and, you know, it resonated with me so much. So it just confirmed that my decision was right. 